Hey, welcome back to the Pyro Education video series. Today we're going to go over how to use up big candles. Um, not just Big's candles, um, but any of the larger size candles. This is a red, white, and blue tracer from Big, but this will apply for your black market Tommy guns or whatever other brand you can find out there. Of the Big 196 or whatever they are, 210 shot, 220 shot candles. Um, so we'll go over how to do that with Talons and also how to do it with iMatch or EMatch as well. I'm going to zoom the camera in a little bit, so stick around. Alright, so continuing on with how to match our large size candles. These candles have multiple smaller candles inside them. So we'll go ahead and this is where you would normally light it if you were just going to light it in your yard or whatnot. So we'll go ahead and kind of peel away some of this paper. And so you can see it's just got a little piece of visco there connecting to several of the smaller individual tubes. That's how they get such a high count on there. Um, so if you're using talons, this is real easy. I would just clip my talon right on there. I'd probably tape the top of that then just to make sure my talon's not going to move at all. If you get your talon moving when you're transporting it, that's a good way to break the filament and um, your item may not fire then. So tape that down, I wouldn't worry about it, uh, it's not going to cause any issues with the, the item firing or anything. Um, now if you want a little more now, in this case a uh, talon is probably just about as reliable timing wise on something like this as even using quick match or with, with an e-match just because even once you get to this it's still going to have to go down to these individual tubes. Um, so you could try to get down there and find the first one it goes to and and set your fuse way down in there. Um, maybe a little more reliable, but I think the effect that these produces are a bit spontaneous anyways. So um, if I'm shooting these, I'm not really looking for a super precise timing. Um, so the only reason I might e-match or I match this is just if I want to fire the rest of my show in an e-match mode on Cobra as opposed to setting it to Talon mode. Um, otherwise I would definitely use a Talon. I think it's probably easier and a faster setup. But if we wanted to use an e-match we would um, use quick match to kind of go from the quick match to the visco like I was shown in a previous video. So you would just slide your, your quick match on that visco. I'd probably tape it down. Usually I kind of tape it over like this um, and then hang this guy off the end here so then I would just have an extra bit of quick match hanging over there and I would insert my e-match or i-match into that. A bit difficult to do without actually taping it down. I'd insert that in there and then tape that down as well. Um, and that's all you have. And again, the nice part about this, if you are wanting to use e-match or i-match and have got some quick match to use with that, um, you can prep this part. This is the part that takes a while, getting that little guy on there and getting it ready. Um, you can prep this ahead of time, have that all ready to go, so when you get on site you've just got to put your e-match or i-match in there and you're ready to go. Um, so thanks for watching. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, sure appreciate it. We've got quite the big season coming up here later on this year as demo season starts to pick up in March. Um, so I'll have a lot of videos coming out. Next up, we'll be going over how to fuse some more items in this playlist. Um, so thanks for watching and stay tuned.